do you guys like this on me? I love it. <laughs> Did you try that new berry shake at the cafe? Oh, it's so yeah. good. Hey, by the way, where is Strawberry? Hi, everybody. Strawberry! Hi, Hi Strawberry! Hi, oh, am I early? Right on time. I'm just running a bit behind. Let's see. Sorry, Blueberry. Can I put you over here? Let me put you over here. Tea? Thank you. And let's get those pinkies soaking. How much time do we have? We're running out of time. I wish there was a way to do hair and nails faster. I don't want to be late for the special event. Lemon, you're not just the fastest. You're the best. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. Just doing my job. And a very excellent job. Thanks to you, we're all going to look gorgeous for the opening day of Mr. Longface's Croquet Country Club. I've never played a, a croquet. Well, it's kind of like golf, but with wire hoops instead of holes. It's fun. <laughs> <gasps> this could be a new look for us. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, here, let me. I got it, I got it. Here, look at that. Okay, hold still. There, got it. <laughs> no, it's great. Looks great. Never looks better. I love it. it sure does. <sighs> Perfect. Ooh, thanks. Huh? Oh, I think it's stuck. It isn't stuck. It's locked. Oh, goodness. I made us late and now Mr. Longface has locked us out. I don't think he'd do that to us just for being late. Who? Plum? Raspberry, could you please give me a leg up? Sure thing. Here you go. That one. Oh, no, this won't do at all. A little longer there. That... Oh, that's wrong. Well, he's in there. What's he doing? Um, excuse me, Mr. Logface. Uh, oh. Okay, down, please. <sighs> uh, uh. I have to apologize, Mr. Longface. It's my fault we were late to your opening. Oh, the apology is mine, Miss Meringue. Uh, the opening of my croquet country club is, in fact, well, not opening. Not opening? Why? Oh, it has been postponed due, I am ashamed to say, to an unsatisfactorily trimmed lawn. Shameful. Perfectly shameful, isn't it? Looks very nice to me. Yeah! yeah. yeah. That seems seems nice. Nice. That's really good. Uh, how do you play? This looks like fun. Can I be blue? How do we start? We each take turns hitting our balls through those wires called wickets. But it's not level. Why, if one was to send a ball rolling across something as rough as that, oh, there's, there's no telling where it would end up. Oh, I'm sorry, my friends, but I'm ashamed to say that I won't be ready to open until later. We'd be happy to help you trim the grass. Yeah, I'm pretty good with a pair of scissors. Yeah, yeah we are. Oh, sure. Scissors. Oh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> but help is on the way. Oh, hello, friend Berrikins. And thank you for coming to my rescue. Hey, no problem. That's your service. Let's get to work. Well, Lemon, we weren't late after all. Only because the opening is postponed. Nah. It would have been okay. Yeah, it's okay, Lemon. Hey, how about we all go for a picnic at the pond? Yeah. I love that oh, idea! Yeah. Beautiful day! Oh, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Lemon? Thanks, Strawberry, but I think I have some work to do in my salon. <laughs> but all your customers are going on a picnic. There isn't anyone who needs a makeover. My salon needs a makeover. I want to fix it up so that everything runs a little smoother, so I can do everyone's hair faster. Okay, I'll save a sandwich for you. Thanks, Strawberry. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. Your customers will love you. But what kind of surprise? I don't know, Raspberry. Lemon just called and said to bring everyone over for a reopening of her beauty salon. Reopening? What does she mean? where you're in and out faster than you can say hi and goodbye. Wow! Uh, what is it? This is the all-new Salonomatic. Manicures like magic, pedicures perfectly, styles hair faster than you've ever seen before. So, who will be first? Well, I guess, uh, sure. I'll give it a try. Okay, just, that's right, sit down here. Uh, what do I do? Not a thing. The salon matic does it all. Huh? <gasps> Welcome to the salon matic In just a few short seconds, a new do for a new you. You do it. Thank you. Oh, this new invention thing is great. Where'd you get it? I just called this number. Who's next? Oh, me! Me! I me! Do me! It. me. Even the syrup drips are the same. Amazing! They're all identical. All thanks to the Wonder Waffler, the cook's fastest friend. Wow! Where'd you get it? Same place Lemon got her salon matic Guess what I'm doing right now. Oh, oh hi, hi, Mary. What are you doing right now? Um, standing? Mm. Uh, spending quality time with your talented and charming mm. friends? Mm, having a waffle. Thank you. Yes, I'm doing all those things, as well as... I'm cleaning my bookstore. Oh, like, uh, this afternoon? No, right now. <laughs> my new automatic clean -o -matic does it while I'm away. Keeps my bookstore nice and shiny. I don't have to do a thing. Which gives me time to catch up on writing all my book reviews. Ooh, when can I borrow it? Anytime. Excuse me, girls. Hello? Hi, Lemon. Oh, we're all over here at Blueberry's watching her new clean matic Hey, does anybody need a, a you know, trim, a manicure, anything? Trim? A uh, manicure? Uh, hi, Lemon. Uh, no, we're good. Hey, lemon. Nope, we're good. Huh? Whoa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay. Well, then. Uh, bye, I guess. New hairstyle? Manicure? <laughs> oh, no. I just wanted to see how you're enjoying your time off. Well, it's nice, but actually, 
I feel like there isn't a lot to do here, and I'd like to be useful. Is there anything I could do at the cafe to help you? Of course! <laughs> Guess what I'm doing right now? Uh, drinking a smoothie and... <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm cleaning my store. <laughs> oh, goodness. Can I borrow the cleanomatic next? Of course! Well, how are the smoothies? Mm. Delicious! What do you think? Yum! Mmm! Mm. Alive with fruit flavor. <laughs> Lemons are natural. I think I like the way you make them better, Strawberry. Well, with practice, I'm sure you'll make them the same way I do, in no time. That's really sweet, but I don't want to make you spend time teaching me to do something you can do yourself. I'm not sure cafe work is for me. The Bitty City Bop is all about... Uh, your feet? The beat. Oh, yeah. The... the beat. And step to the left, and forward, and three steps. Oh, I mean to the right. Oops. Ow. Oh, I meant left. <sighs> you were great, Lemon. Oh, let's take five. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, Plum. You're so nice to hire me to teach, but honestly, you do this better than anyone. And we don't really need two dance teachers. Are you sure? I'm sure. Fun, huh? Uh, sure. But I don't think you really need my help. What do you mean? Well, Orange, I mean, how many times can we re-alphabetize these cans? Uh, but... I just want to make a special contribution, like I used to. Doing something that I have fun at. The way I did with hairstyling. Hmm. Well, you've had so many great ideas about how to reorganize my store. I was thinking... Yes? Why not come up with an idea for a fun new business? Start a new business? Oh, I can't do that. Sure you can. <laughs> Step right aboard. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. All ashore. There you go. Oh, watch your step, please. Goodbye. Delightful trip. Thanks, Lemon. Thank you, Lemon. That was wonderful. We'll be back. Wow, another picnic? Sure. We decided to have picnics across the lake every day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Great, but three days in a row? Well, sure. Why not? You're all doing this just for me, aren't you? Us? We? Uh, oh, we wanted to support your new fairy. It's such a great idea. Uh, such a great service. Oh, thank you, but... Not a very much needed service. Hello, Hello you hi. Hi. Now remember, it's not a picnic, it's bird watching today. Got it. Closed for the season? Oh no. But Lemon, we all want you here. We need you here. What's Big Bitty City got that we don't have? Something for me to do where I can have fun and be useful. Oh. Thanks for caring. But don't look so sad. I'll come back and visit. A lot. Promise. Come on. I have an idea. You want us to put honey in our hair? But how's that gonna keep...
keep Lemon from leaving. Watch. <laughs> Lemon! You can't leave! Huh? Why not? Look what the salon o did to us. Oh, no! Quick, back to the salon! I'm not sure what Strawberry will think of this plan. Wow! Now it won't even do anything! Boy, it sure is a good thing we caught you in time. Can you help us? At your service! But are you sure you can't join us? Uh, just for lunch. Everyone misses you very, very much. Oh, thank you, Miss Shortcake, but every hour I'm not preparing the lawn is another hour my grand opening is delayed. Thank you, Lemon. You're our hero. Magazine? Oh, how did these get here? Uh, um, how did what get where? We just wanted you to stay. But it's important the lawn is level. Isn't the important thing that we all have fun together and enjoy each other's company? A nice boat ride. Oh, a nice picnic lunch. I'm sure it would mean a lot to Lemon. Oh, well, I... Uh, I didn't think of it that way. I wouldn't want to let Miss Meringue down, uh, but my lawn. Mr. Longface, we want you back. You are so much more important to Berry Bitty City than this lawn. Am I? Of course. Don't you know that? Oh, uh, can you excuse me? There's something I need to tell someone. Hmm. I'm more important to Berry Bitty City than you. <laughs> <sighs> I know, and I appreciate what you're trying to do. Please, girls, I'm gonna miss the bus. Good. What's happening? Strawberry! She's moving! Please stop her, Strawberry! Don't let her leave! Lemon, you're leaving? Oh, Strawberry, I just feel there's no need for me to stay in Berry Bitty City. Not unless I can do something useful, something that everyone needs. I'll tell you what we need. Someone to take care of the complaints about this machine. What complaints? Oh, where do I begin? One. The machine is lousy at conversation, and boy, is it useless at giving advice. Two, it doesn't tell you how nice you look or offer any fashion hints. Three, it won't laugh at any of our jokes. Four, it doesn't fit in a sleeping bag for sleepovers, and it won't even respond when you send it an invitation. How rude. Five, it doesn't have a shoulder to cry on. And six, and this is by far the worst. It never hugs. Yeah, yeah that's, that's great. great. Uh -huh. We love you for who you are as a person and friend, Lemon. And that machine can never be any of those things. I sent back my Wonder Waffler. Too perfect. There just wasn't the individual touch of the cook. Does this mean I have to send back my Cleanomatic? It hasn't cleaned the dance studio yet. We don't have to send the Cleanomatic back. What I'm trying to say is, oh, Lemon, will you please stay with us? Yeah! yeah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, Miss Shortcake, you're right. I've been neglecting you all. Miss Meringue, oh, I'm sorry I never visited your ferry. How can I make it up to you? Well, could you help us push the Salonomatic over to the post office? I'm sending it back. At your service. Oh, no! Oh, my.
Mr. Longface. Not at all, Miss Meringue. Your machine has trimmed the grass to perfection. Oh, I hereby declare Mr. Longface's Croquet Club open for business. <laughs> Miss Meringue, oh, would it be too much to ask? It's all yours, Mr. Longface. Splendid! Would you do the honor of hitting the first official ball? My pleasure. <laughs> would you like me to read you a story? Okay, how about if I read you this one? A story that I wrote myself. Yeah! Yeah! It's a story that takes place right here in Berry Bitty City. Uh, am I in it, Pooh Berry? And me? And me? We're all in it. Wow! It's called The Berry Long Winter. Now, you might think this all happened on a winter's night, but it didn't. It did it? <laughs> no. It happened on a winter's day. And because it was a winter's day, you might think it was cold, but it wasn't. It wasn't? No. It was as warm as spring. Everywhere you looked, winter was leaving. Now, you might think everyone would be happy, but they weren't. Oh. <laughs> All over town, people were sorry to see winter leave so soon. I barely get these wonderful winter fashions designed and then displayed, and no one's even tried or, or barely seen or tried them on. And now I have to take them all down. Hi, hi Raspberry. Raspberry. Oh, hi. Uh, did you come to buy some wonderful winter fashions? Well, we were looking for something a little more... springy. <sighs> That's what I was afraid of. Well, I better get busy designing my spring line. And all over town, that's how it was. The early spring caught everyone by surprise. Oh, Barry, you said your story was about winter. And it is. How can it be winter when it's warm? <laughs> well, you'll just have to be patient and see what happens. And so it was that lots of folks were sad to see winter turn warm. Lots of folks, but not everyone. Here you go. Hot chocolate? We should have ordered lemonade. Yeah, ice cold lemonade. Haven't you noticed the heat outside? <laughs> What's so wrong with an early spring? Everything. My store is overstocked with fruitcake, chestnuts, and marshmallows. I barely got to show off the new knit hat and matching scarf and mittens the raspberry made for me. The snow melted before I ever got a chance to go sledding or build a snowman, or play my favorite winter game, Capture the Snowman's Nose. Oh, yeah! Oh, snowman's Nose! I really love that game. You know, we might not be able to wear our mittens until next winter, but we could play Capture the Snowman's Nose now. And to do that, we'd need snowmen. Exactly. And to do that, we'd need it to snow. <laughs> not necessarily. So, all you gotta do is keep the juicerating confabulator turned on, keep this dial point here, flip on the freezelator like so, and presto! Instant snow! Thank you, Barricade Bruce. This is great! <laughs> well, let's build our snowman.
carrot nose off the other team's snowman and brings it back to their snowman, scores a point. Ready, set, wait! I just realized our teams are uneven. Our team has four, you guys only have three. Hey, yeah. you're right. Well, uh, I guess I could referee. to make all the decisions about what's fair for everybody else. And in Berry Bitty City, everybody's opinions get to be heard. So, what do you think the rules should be? Oh, oh, I don't well, know. Gosh, I haven't uh, thought of any. Barricade Blue? Uh, what if the rule was simply anything that's fun? Yeah! yeah. Very good. Should we put it to a vote? I love yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. All in favor of the only rule being anything that's fun, say aye. Aye! All opposed, say nay. <laughs> the ayes have it. The rule is passed. <laughs> Excuse me, but... 
but can they do that? No rule against it. Anything that's fun. on this side. And the other three berrykins can form a team with raspberry, orange, and lemon. Now, each team will have the same advantages. Oh, no! Look! Uh-oh. It's melting! Quick, get some more snow! Do something! Oh, well, there it goes. Snow! <sighs> I'm sorry, Strawberry. It's just too warm. The snowmaking machine can't keep its cool. Thanks for trying, Berrykin Bruce. Aw. Well, that's it. Fun while it lasted. Just when we worked out the teams. <sighs> Guess we'll have to wait till next winter. Yeah. Aww. Hold on, everybody. Gather round. What if we made our snowman out of something other than snow? Oh, anybody have any ideas of what we can use to build a snowman that's white and fluffy? You mean besides mashed potatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes. Mashed potatoes! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> hey, I was joking! I'm not! <laughs> it could work! Come on, everybody! There! Perfect! Whoa. Now it feels like winter! Oh, maybe I shouldn't have put away my winter fashions. Do you think it's too cold and windy to play? <laughs> yes, and it'll be getting dark soon. Let's come back in the morning. Meanwhile, hot chocolate for everyone at the cafe! <laughs> all their carrots had mysteriously disappeared. Well, this snowman's carrots are gone, too. And, and we used most of the carrots we saved in the winter storehouse for playing the game. <sighs> and it looks like winter is coming back. Aha! Gotcha! I know who our thieves are. Light on their feet, but not light enough for me. Little do they know, I've read all 120 Patty Persimmon Girl Detective novels. Or is it 130? 
And I can say conclusively, without a shadow of a doubt, that the culprits are absolutely, positively... Squirrels. Yes! Uh, huh? Yep, squirrel tracks. Three sets of them, it looks like. That is absolutely... correct. Oh, my. Oh, dear. Squirrels can get very hungry. And three of them are three times as hungry. What if our carrots aren't enough for them? You mean, if they started eating the rest of our food? Yes! The crops we've stocked up in case it's a bad winter. Oh, it's not going to be a bad winter. I mean, it didn't look bad yesterday. Looks like a blizzard might be brewing. Well, in that case, shouldn't we try to leave something out for them? You know, share what we have. But if the winter gets really bad, what we have might not even be enough for us. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with Berry Can Bloom. If a big blizzard hits, our berry bitty gardens and orchards would be buried. All we'd have to eat until spring would be frozen berrysicles. I think I'm with Strawberry. Shouldn't we share? Oh, I really oh, think yeah, we should. Right. That's Sharing idea. is what we should do. Oh, well, no. Not I don't agree at hungry. all because no, we run out. We have to. to. Oh, since this is really important and everyone in town will have an opinion, I think we should vote. Well, oh, all right. I agree. Yes, 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 vote. Yes, vote. Yes, 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 yes. This vote is for yes. And the last vote is for no. So, on the question of should we share our stores of winter food with the squirrels and other animals, the vote is... a tie! The number of yes votes and no votes are the same. Oh. oh. What, 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 what will we do? Yeah. Well, what, who? No, no, no. Did everyone vote? Good. Wait, did you vote? Oh, <laughs> you're right. I was so busy taking care of this, I forgot to. <laughs> um, well, no matter which way I vote, some of you are going to be happy, and others, well, maybe not so happy. We've all talked about it. What's the best thing to do for all of us, for the whole town? We've gone over the weather predictions, we've added up how much food we have for the winter, and we've talked about is it a good idea to give away some of what we have, when we don't really know how long the winter will last. Like all of you, I... I can only vote what I think and what I feel. So on the question of should we share our stores of winter food, my vote is yes. And if a storm comes and we run out of food, they'll never forgive me. Everybody in Berry Bitty City loves you. You had a right to vote for what you believed was best. You weren't the only one who voted to share our food. But I was the tiebreaker. Oh, don't worry, Strawberry. <laughs> Who's that? It looks like some barricades. Oh, maybe they've come to tell me what they think of me. Well, I better face them. Good evening, everyone. Um, we've talked about it, and we've decided that you've been such a patient referee and leader, Strawberry. You respect all our different points of view, and so we'd like to ask you to be in charge of managing the rest of Berry Bitty City's food stores this winter. We think, well, we think it would be the best thing for all of us, for the whole town. Yes, I agree. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Well, why don't we meet here in the morning, and we'll make a plan. All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right idea. After we figure out the food situation, can we still play capture the snowman's nose? Well, I don't see why. I see. I see. 
the snowman's nose? <laughs> well then! <laughs> <laughs> 